We're still working with Fusion's Manage tools, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Interference tool. In my graphic area, I've got a rack and pinion assembly. The Interference tool is on the Manage panel. Let's left-click to activate it. The first step is to select the components that we'd like to analyze. We can also include coincident faces if we want. Just check here to activate that option. And when you're done your selections, click Compute. Here are the interference results. I see interference 0 and interference 1. The volume of the interference is actually 0. So basically here we have coincident faces. There is no interference. If I try to keep these interferences as separate components, I can't because they don't have any volume. Let's cancel out of this window and let's create some interferences and then we'll run this analysis again. First, let me hide the pinion. Just zoom in a bit. Let's apply press pull to this face here. Let's make it 0 0.075 and click OK. And we're done. Now let's bring the pinion back in and run the interference tool again. I select the entities I'd like to analyze, the pinion and the base. This time I'll uncheck Include Coincident Faces and click Compute. And here is the obvious interference. It's marked in red in the graphic area. The volume of the interference is about 0 0.006. That IN3 means cubic inches. Let's check Keep and then click OK. Let me hide the pinion again. Since our interference is now a separate component, we're able to run a Boolean operation on it to cut it out. So let's activate the Boolean tool. The target will be the base. And cut is our operation, so let's change that. The tool will be the interference. If Keep Tools is active, unselect it and then click OK. Now let's bring up the pinion, and we'll run the interference tool again. Select the base, and the pinion, and click Compute. No interferences are detected. Let's click OK, and done. And this concludes our tutorial about using the interference tool in Inventor Fusion.